Hello and welcome, it's Emma here from First in Architecture. Today we're going to be talking about line weights and plot styles in AutoCAD. Um, there are a number of different ways uh, you can set up your line weights in AutoCAD. Um, today I'm going to go through the line weights and plot styles the way I was taught. Um, this is not the only way you can do things, but it's the way that I know and I use it and it works well for me. So it's up to you to choose how you'd like to um, take some of these tips forward, um, but let's get stuck in and get started. So in order to represent um, line weights in AutoCAD, um, what we do is we assign layers. Um, so we set up layers um, that are assigned different colors and these colors represent a different pen thickness or line weight. Um, sometimes we can use a large list of layers like we've got here um, and each of these is colored accordingly to the line weight that it's going to represent. Um, sometimes people like to use a much smaller list of layers um, as we show here, you know, just literally demonstrating a thick line, a thin line and so on and then it's printed out like that. So once we have our layers set up, uh, when we come to print, we assign what we call a plot style. The plot style is basically translating our layer colors into a pen thickness. Um, so it looks really complicated, but when you get to grips with it, it's actually really straightforward. So the plot style will um, select a color. So for example, here we've got color, this red color here, and we would then um, give it a line weight. So whenever you see that red color, you know that that is going to be printed out a certain weight. So the best way for me to explain this is to jump straight into AutoCAD and talk through the process step by step. Okay, so here we are in AutoCAD. Um, I'm currently using AutoCAD LT2020. Um, might be a little bit different from what you're using, but generally um, most of the settings are the same, so we should be okay getting along here. So I have the First in Architecture CAD template open at the moment. As you can see, we've got loads of layers set up here on the right-hand side um, and various other elements in the drawing. So we're gonna get started. We're going to um, take this floor plan as our example and we're going to go ahead and do a simple plot. So I'm going to type plot and press enter. Ignore that warning, it's to do with my printers. Um, and I'm going to select, I have a DWG to PDF option here. So I'm not going to go through the details of printing, we're, we're looking at more about how these lines are going to be displayed in terms of the weight. So I'm just going to change that setting there. I'm going to draw a window around the plan and I'm going to print as displayed. Um, this is often the um, first setting that's available in your plot styles and this is the, what we're going to be talking about today is these plot styles here. So I've got print as displayed um, and I've just selected fit to paper. We're not printing to any scale um, today in these examples. So I'm now just going to press preview. So you can see here that we have the um, floor plan printed out in color as seen and if I zoom in all the lines are the same. Uh, same thickness, obviously different colors, but they're all the same thickness, so we don't want that. So let's take a little look at how we're going to get our line weights looking how we want them to look. So let's imagine we haven't used AutoCAD before to print um, anything out, so we're going to start with a brand new plot style. So I'm going to type in plot style. You can see it already comes up there, so I'm going to press enter. And it comes with a list of the plot styles that are currently present in this drawing. Um, so you can at this point uh, create a new plot style. You can import plot styles from elsewhere, which we'll look at a bit later on. You can also um, reveal in Finder. So I'm working on a Mac, so Finder um, is like our navigation, folder navigation tool. Um, so you can actually reveal where all of these um, plot styles are saved um, in Finder, which is really useful, but we'll come to that later as well. So for argument's sake, um, I'm gonna open the monochrome and I'm gonna click edit. If you edit a plot style in one drawing, um, and then go and open a different drawing and want to use that same plot style, that plot style will be edited everywhere. So whatever change you make in one drawing, it will be made universally. So just be aware of that, that your changes could affect other drawings and how they print out. Okay, so this is our plot style um, table editor. And here we have all the colors that are available in AutoCAD. You'll see that if you look at my layer panel on the right hand side, I've used pretty much the first 10 colors in all of the layers. It's best to try and keep things simple. If you use too many um, colors and 
um, line weights, it can get really complicated. So you can see here that color one um, prints out as black. I'm going to ignore a lot of these settings because the most important one here is the um, line weight. So at the moment it's saying use object line weight. What we would want to do is assign a line weight to um, to this color. So you have a lot to choose from here. You can even edit the line weights if that you don't have you can't see what you're looking for. So each color would have a um, different line weight assigned to it. For this particular plot style, monochrome, it print, prints all the colors out in black and it uses the object line weight. Now object line weight, if you look at the layers panel, I can't show you why I've got this window open, um, but you can assign a line weight by layer as well. But we're not going to do that. We're going to keep all of our line weights by layer um, and use the plot styles to get our line weights to print how we want to see them. OK, so we're going to come out of this for a second and cancel out of that. This um, particular template comes with everything set up and we we have um, our plot style line weights all set up here. So I've got these written out exactly um, what line weight each uh, color will print out. So let's use this to print out our floor plan. And we'll do the same again, but this time we'll use the um, standard plot style that comes with this template. So I'm going to type plot again and press enter. Ignore that warning. We're going to um, draw a window around this and here we are going to select FIA standard plot style which is the plot style that comes with this template. I'm going to leave all of the other settings as they are for now apart from selecting DWG to PDF and I'm going to turn the drawing around, press preview and we can see now that the line weights have printed out. If I just zoom in a little bit, you can see the walls are nice and thick, furniture is much thinner, and the line weights have come out as we've wanted them to. If something wasn't looking right, you can edit the um, plot style table directly from the print box. So you can see here is our plot style. If I press this little icon here, it will open up the editor and we can go in and make some changes to that immediately um, directly from the print, print box. So if you have a plot style that you've downloaded, for example, from First and Architecture website or um, our template, um, you may want to install that into your um, CAD drawing. So again, there are a couple of ways you can do it. You could do it directly from the plot menu or we can go plot style. And as I mentioned before, you can click Import. Um, I'm going to select that there. I happen to have that open. And here it is here. So if I now come out of that and I go to Plot, obviously it was already loaded, but it will then come up as an option in that menu. So you could have a number of different plot styles available to use, set up in different ways. For example, um, this particular plot style, we have the um, tree color here um, set up to print as seen, so print as this color, um, which can be quite effective. Um, I'll just show you that. So if I, I have my hatching switched off at the moment, I'm going to switch the hatching back on. If we go to plot this, I'm going to adjust these settings, draw a window around our elevation. I've got my plot style selected correctly. Notice that the preview doesn't actually show how it's going to print, so you do need to do a proper preview um, to see how that's going to come out. And you can see this green color prints out. So I'm just going to quickly show you how that works. We're going to um, open the icon and the editor. Now I have a couple of colors that actually pr don't print out as black and print out as the color that they are. So color 10 always prints out as, as red. So I use this for things like site boundaries um, or maybe you can use it for text, dimensions. Um, so we keep color 1 printing black but color 10 prints out as red. Um, the other ones that we print out um, at a different color are the greys. So we use the greys for hatching and things like that. So 252 uses the object color, 253 and 254, and we give different thicknesses to those according to what we want to use them for. So usually the 25 numbers um, are great ones to select for hatching and shading and things like that.
or maybe faint lines, overhead lines, dash lines and things. Um, so it's as simple as that. You just choose your colour and choose how you want it to print out. So for example, colour 72 is currently printing as black, but we could use object colour and it would print out as this green colour here. I'm not going to change that. I'm going to cancel out and cancel. So hopefully you found the introduction to working with line weights and plot styles useful. Um, if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to get in touch. Either comment underneath this uh, YouTube video, or if you're on the website, you can comment underneath the blog post. Um, or of course, drop me an email, emma at firstinarchitecture.co.uk. Um, make sure you check out the First in Architecture CAD template if you're interested in that. There will be a link underneath this video in YouTube, or if you're watching this video from the blog post, then just scroll down to the end of this article and you'll be able to see the link there, along with some other useful um, blog posts I've written in the past. Um, one to do with layering standards, where you can get a free download of all the different layers um, as a CAD file. Um, and then there are also a couple of tutorials you could check out um, how to print and plot and using layout and things like that in AutoCAD. So make sure you check those out. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it if you do. And um, until next time, take care.